Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Seven Sorrows Devotion. And it was such a pleasure, such a privilege to be praying with you. And today, after the Seven Sorrows, I will be sharing about Our Lady of Good Counsel. I'm sure you've heard of this uh, title before. And there are many, many churches, even just down the road here, we have Our Lady of Good Counsel. But what is the original uh, history of it and where did it come from? And as I was researching on this, I was very, very touched by how it came about. Uh, so let us pray uh, the seven sorrows and lift up all our families and friends and all of the people who are whom we love, who needs the Lord's grace. And let us pray for ourselves too. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, come to our assistance. O Amen. Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So welcome everyone who is joining in and without further ado, we will continue. But each one of you who is so dear to the Lord, so dear to the Lord, the Lord hears every one of your prayers. Don't for a moment think that oh, prayers are not answered. There is God's perfect time, God's perfect uh, alignment of all things. Sometimes it is. Uh, about other people's decisions too. God is waiting for them to make the decision so that all these pieces can come together. But one thing is for sure, God works for good for those who love him. So we welcome Alicia, Elsa, Alice, Murph, Elizabeth, uh, Ernestine, also, Banumati, Beatrice, Delia, Donna, Rose Daisy, Rosalind. Let's pray for Rosalind's housing situation. It's, it can be quite stressful. Uh, let's pray for Karen and Ruby, Marilyn, Nancy, Rose Daisy, Richard, Stella, Sean Willie and all who join us. Let us pray. The first sorrow, the prophecy of Simeon. The Holy Family went to the temple for the rite of purification and for the presentation of their firstborn son. And we do not have this tradition of going to the temple to present our firstborn sons, but we can still consecrate ourselves, our whole families, in fact, to our Blessed Mother's Immaculate Heart. As we think of her as our protectress, the one who covers us with her blue mantle, her, her cloak of protection, may we hide in her motherly cloak and that Satan will be blinded and will not attack us. Let us go to her and ask her for her help. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The second sorrow. The flight into Egypt. The Holy Family traveled to, towards Egypt. It wasn't a very short journey. And it would take a lot of strength, tenacity, fortitude, which God the Father gave them and showered upon them. Can we imagine how beloved they are, facing all that uh, difficulty in traveling, all the robbers, wild beasts, bad weather, cold winter, 
and not having enough clothing or food or shelter, just trusting on the Lord. And they made it. They made it safely. God, our Father, ensured that. Today, as we walk our our journey, let us ask our sorrowful mother to pray for us. She knows how difficult it is to make the journey, journey to where the Lord wanted them to go. And the Lord wants us to go to a journey too. It is not always easy. Let us ask her for her prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The third sorrow, the loss of the child Jesus in the temple. Sorry, somebody is knocking on the door, which we will deal with. Jesus left the side of his mom and dad and went to the temple. He was there with his people and Our Lady was in, in a lot of sorrow, not knowing where he was. Today, many, many families also have their children away from them and they do not know how to guide them back. Let us ask Our Lady to pray for all the many children, adult children, young children who have left who have left the side of their parents, who have gone their way, who are in vices, addictions, bad company. Let us ask Our Lady to pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fourth sorrow, Blessed Mother meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. Our Blessed Mother walked alongside Jesus. Seeing him suffer, seeing all the people jeer at him, she still continued to walk with him. Today, let us pray for all those who keep falling, falling into sin, falling into temptation, those who fall in, into mortal sin and which causes hurt to our blessed Lord and to our Lady. Let us include them all in our prayer and ask our Lady to pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I'm I'm sorry um 
it seems that a, an elderly neighbor of ours have fallen on the street and um, so Dan has gone to help them. So let's pray for our neighbor. Her name is Terrell. Let's pray for her safety. Let's pray that she'll be all right and that Dan will be able to help them. The fifth sorrow, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Jesus embraced his cross. He not only took our sins away from us, he took it upon himself that he may suffer the punishment on our behalf. We have also some of, you may have heard the story where we are standing in front of the judge with all our sins. We've done all the crimes, we've done all the bad things and the judge said death sentence or jail term. And Jesus comes between us and the judge and he comes with his crown of thorns bleeding holding his scepter, bleeding from every part of his body. And he said, wait, I've already taken the punishment. I've already taken all the punishment that is deserving of my child. Spare him, spare her. Our Lord is our advocate. Our Lord is our Savior. Let us not forget that He also desires for us to love Him. Let us offer our prayers for all who do not yet know the Lord, or those who know the Lord and know Our Lady, but continue to not believe, or even say terrible things about them. We know as Catholics we do not worship Mary, our mother, but we ask her for her intercession. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The sixth sorrow, Jesus is taken down from the cross and laid in the arms of our most blessed mother. Our mother held on to her Jesus, close to her immaculate heart. Her heart that was pierced over and over and over again, and still she is sorrowful. We've seen so many statues, statues of Our Lady, images of Our Lady, crying, 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 crying for the world's situation, for our society, embracing ideologies, gender fluidity, but not embracing the Lord who made them beautiful. Let us pray for reparation. Let us stand in the gap and pray for those who do not know their preciousness, who do not know their identity and strive to do things to themselves to make themselves unique. I was one of them. I was one of them. I understand. Mother Mary, we offer you our brokenness, our fragility. We are so fragile. One word and it, it scars us for a long time, even for life. Please, Mother, pray for us. And we unite our scars to your son's scars, wounds. Pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The seventh sorrow, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Our Lady wept. Jesus wept for his best friend Lazarus, one of his closest friends. It's also the shortest scripture verse in the whole Bible. He wept. He wept. And Our Lady, she is weeping for us. Let us do everything we can to fulfill our part on earth. Our part on earth is to know the Lord, love the Lord, and serve the Lord. Just three things. To know, love, and serve. When we know the Lord in truth, in spirit and truth, we know what we are to do. We know how to worship the Lord. When we don't know, we can ask for help. And God will always give us, give us all the help we need. To love the Lord. When we love the Lord, he will also teach us how to love the others whom we find so difficult to love and serve the Lord. We can serve the Lord in so many different ways. We serve the Lord now by praying for His people. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us to fulfill these three things and that we may go to heaven and be with her, and be with her Son, and all the holy saints in heaven. That's where our life begins. That's where we belong. That's our true home. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Virgin Most Sorrowful, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Let intercession be made for us, we beseech thee, O Lord Jesus Christ now and at the hour of our death, before the throne of thy mercy, by the Blessed Virgin Mary, thy mother, whose most holy soul was pierced by a sword of sorrow in the hour of thy bitter passion. Through thee, Jesus Christ, Saviour of the world, who with the Father and the Holy Ghost lives and reigns world without end. Amen. The Memorare, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was ever left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Mother of Sorrows, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So please continue to pray for our neighbor. She's, um, she's a little fragile and I hope she's all right. And you know, when older folks fall down, a, a few more complications can also happen. So please pray that she'll be all right. A very sweet lady who was so very kind. So today I'm going to share about Our Lady of Good Counsel. And that's the, the icon, that's the image there, right in the middle. Not a very big image, about one foot tall. And... Uh, this is the amazing story 
I wonder how many of you have heard of Our Lady of Good Counsel. And it is a bit complicated. That's why I have the map there. <laughs> okay. So, a long time ago, uh, in the 4th century, there was a church built dedicated to the Mother of Good Counsel. Then in 1356, this church was given over to the Augustinians to um, restore and to uh, minister there. But uh, they didn't have enough money. So a widow by the name of Petrusia sold all her belongings to help to finance the project of restoration. But the funds ran out before the task was completed. So it's half finished, okay? Now, during that same year, in another... So this first church that we're talking about is in Italy. So now, in the same year, in Scutari in Albania, there was a church where... The Turkish people have gone and desecrated it and reduced it to ruins. And there was, everything had fallen over except for one wall, which had the fresco of Our Lady of Good Counsel, which we saw just now. But during that whole offensive, there, there left an empty space in the fresco. So, the whole place was in ruin, so nobody really took note of that. In that same year, in Genozano, and now you can see where Italy is. Italy is in that shoe-shaped country. In that same year, in Genozano, on the Feast of St. Mark, the people who had gone there to honour the city's patron saint all suddenly heard beautiful music from a very luminous cloud and that cloud was above the tower of the church and this luminous cloud descended on the church of mother of good counsel and you see this picture and it was hovering above a wall of the unfinished chapel what happened next was the miracle. This image that was hovering in the clouds was just hovering. No, no there was no other, um, no other saint or anybody taking it. Just hover. This just image hovering. Miraculously, the church bells rang on its own, and then all the bells of the town also started ringing together. And the cloud slowly disappeared and this image of Our Lady and the Madonna came floating down and landed inside the unfinished chapel. So this is the same fresco. Now fresco means, what does fresco mean? It's not a painting, right? And if you can imagine uh, a mural, on the wall, uh, and that mural could be done in different ways, like mosaic or um, in I don't know exactly what material it was done, but that fresco from Albania that was missing floated to Genazzano in Italy. And if we can imagine this fresco. The fresco, as I said, it's not a painting on a canvas. It is, it is a, a image on the plaster of the wall. So we know what the plastering is, right? On the wall is, it's 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 uh, like plaster on the wall. It's not very thick. In fact, they say that the plaster itself is so thin. It is not even, it is about the thickness of an eggshell. 
that's how thick how thin it is. The thickness of an eggshell and then this whole fresco is on that plaster. Amazingly and miraculously, this fresco was able to stand upright, freestanding, and remained upright in this church in Genazano for many centuries. Centuries, not just a few years, but centuries. And there was great destruction with the wars and earthquakes and everything that could happen to it. But even when everything had fallen down, Our Lady's image remained untouched. So it is truly an amazing, amazing uh, miracle. So when this news uh, reached Rome, Pope Paul II sent two bishops to investigate the story. And so they were thinking this mysterious image came from somewhere else. They, what they saw was just from the clouds, but they, they investigated and found that this mysterious image was identical to the one in Scutari in Albania. That is how miraculous it is. Now, at that time, they've already reported 172 miracles recorded following the appearance of this icon in Genazzano, Italy. They also found that the empty space <laughs> in Albania was the exact same size of what had been transported. Uh, so this, coming back to this plaster, it was so thin, like eggshell thin, that it would have been impossible for any human hand to remove the image, the fresco from the wall in Albania. Just to remove is impossible. How it survived is only by Our Lady's miracle. And um, so, like we said, it, it even survived bombings, uh, several earthquakes, uh, World War II, uh, World War I, and even after several altars were damaged and destroyed, walls had caved in, roofs had crushed, the icon, which was possibly only yards away from the explosion, remained intact. So, um, how, how do we ask Our Lady to work miracles for us? Our faith is not so strong. The, the best of us who would pray and love the Lord, we are all human beings. We all have ups and downs, you know, like the heartbeat is always up and down. No one of us can just keep going up, 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 up towards heaven. And um, let us ask Our Lady to help us in every decision that we are to make. She is, after all, Our Lady of good counsel. So, Counsel would mean for every decision that we are to make, big and small, and that she will teach us how to love the Lord. So I have a little prayer which um, I will pray now and we will all pray in our hearts together. We turn to you, our Mother of Good Counsel, as we seek to imitate your faith filled life. May we be led by the same wisdom which God sent forth from heaven to guide you along unfamiliar paths and through challenging decisions. Keep us united in mind and heart as we go forward in joyful hope toward the grace-filled freedom that 
Augustine commands, recommends. O Virgin Mother of Good Counsel, hear our prayer as we look to you for guidance. Pray for us to our loving and merciful Father and to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit, giver of all wisdom, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Good Counsel, pray for us. So thank you all for joining in. And let us ask Our Lady to keep helping us, help our families, and give good counsel to our children, to our family members, especially those who are a bit wayward or who need counsel from Our Lady. We all do. So let's ask her to pray for us. So God bless you, everyone. I'll go and check on Dan and our neighbor. And please continue to pray for us. God bless. See you again tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and consider subscribing to this channel. Center for Divine Mercy has live prayer meetings every day at 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock Australian Eastern Time. Do join us. See you there. God bless you.